And welcome back for requirement nine of the Engineering Merit Badge. In this one, we're going to talk a little bit about what you need to do to learn more about career opportunities in engineering. Um, unlike some of the other ones where we provided you more information, this is going to be one where you're going to do most of the digging on your own and then document it for us. And so um, with that having been said, let's look at what you actually need to accomplish. And so for this, you first need to figure out about what the different opportunities for careers in engineering are. And so what we want you to do is to identify three potential careers in engineering that interest you, or you know, at least you find you're interested in researching more about. And then what we want you to do is pick one of these and then dig into what the re dig into what the education, training, and experience required for this pro for this profession are. Um, and then at the end, we want you to explain why that profession inter might interest you after you've dug into it. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunities here. Um, there's a lot of information available, uh, both with professional societies and uh, university web pages uh, talking about their programs. Um, you know, within our own organization, if you think about the, the careers that are available within the Nat at the National Advanced Driving Center, we have engineering opportunities that are available to industrial engineers, human factors engineers, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, civil engineers. Um, so there's a there's a plethora of opportunities there. Um, computer, I should mention computer, software, hardware engineers as well. And so as you dig into it, um, as you think about the field you might want to work in, even within a field, there are opportunities for different types of engineers to work within that. And so keep that in mind as you're digging into it. Um, you know, spend a little bit of time uh, exploring what the, what different engineering career opportunities are out there, uh, and then dig into the one that you find most interesting. Um, although this one's mostly on your own, you know, it's not a it's not a lot of work to to dig into this, but it is a good opportunity for you to learn more about a field that might interest you and and maybe that'll be the area you go into when you go into college if you go to college um you know for me you know i kind of identified in high school i wanted to, to do some engineering work and spend some time digging into it and identified a field that i thought kind of fit my skill set and that's what i went after i started off in industrial engineering which houses the human factors program um, and, and dug into that because the, human, the industrial program deals with uh, the general man-machine interface, and uh, particularly in, a, in, a, in an industrial setting. Uh, but I found it interesting in a more focused area in terms of the human factors aspects of it um, and, and, and kind of shifted. I had other friends uh, who went through the program who started off in particular engineering fields and switched to others as they learned more about it. So um, this gives you an opportunity to to learn a little bit about potential opportunities and careers in this field and kind of document what, what might be of interest. Um, with that, I will sign off. Uh, this is the last of the requirements you need to complete. Um, and remind you to, as with everyone, uh, document in the workbook uh, what it is that you accomplish with this by documenting the three career opportunities that you found and then the detailed information on the education, training, and experience associated with one of them, and then why this profession might be of interest to you. With that, uh, good luck as you, as you dig into exploring the different career opportunities uh, in engineering. And I provide a couple links on this uh, presentation um, that will tell you about a few of the careers, uh, but there's a lot more out there than that. So good luck, and we'll... Look forward to seeing your completed workbook. Thank you much.